How about using the same design layout on two cards but changing things up to get a totally different look? It's exactly what we're going to do today. Welcome back. It's another take two with Therese at Alter New and I've got two beautiful cards using the Fairy Tale Rose stamp set and I'm also going to be using the coordinating die today but it also comes with a stencil mask. I'm not going to be using that but I just thought I'd share that with you. It's a really pretty rose on a stem so it's a great image to use as a focal point in a card and I thought I'd do that today but I thought I'd step it up a little level <laughs> and actually take you through some ideas that would actually change the look of the same card design. Alright so I'm starting with a very clean and simple version and this is a layering stamp set and one of the great things I find with the layering stamp sets is it gives you many options. So I'm actually stamping out the layers here today without the outline. So the stem I'm doing in some frayed leaf and then when I'm coming in with the second layer of stamping here I'm actually just tipping the ink on an angle and touching the edges of the stamp. So this is going to give me a little bit of dimension for my leaves. Really quick and easy to do. The actual floral portion like the flower bud itself has two layers of stamps in the set and I'm stamping them out. The lighter, lighter layer is in the rouge and then I am coming in with the darker layer which oh, I'm lying. No, the lighter layer was the blush. <laughs> the darker layer was the the rouge and for the darker layer I'm actually using the shadow image of the stamp. So if you're looking at the stamp packaging you can tell there's less of the image. It's actually a smaller version of the image and the guide for that is also on the back of the packaging as well. It wasn't hard to line up. Obviously these would be easier to line up if you were using the outline of the stamp but I found it very easy to do. The sentiment I'm going to pop off to the side and it's called The Best Thing and it's a sweet little sentiment set and then I have added some jet black ink splatters to my card. This I did protect my sentiment while I did that as well. Now this panel is slightly smaller than the card front and I've popped it up on some fun foam and attached that to the front of a top folding card. Very clean, simple, easy design. You can stamp out a stack of these all at once in all the different colours. It would make a really good save the date card or even a simple sympathy card or even an invitation for something or a love card. That would be nice too. So this time I'm going to be doing the same thing but different. I have some watercolour cardstock here. Now I'm changing this up because I'm using the outline stamp. So what I was saying before is these layering sets are awesome from Alternia because you can actually just use the outline layer. You can use the outline layer with the stamping layers or you can just use the stamp layers themselves like I did on my first card. So it gives you lots of options and if you're not a colorist then the stamping layers give you that colored look without a lot of work and thinking. <laughs> and that's one thing I do love about using the same design a second time is I don't have to recreate the design I'm just changing it up. So I've kept I'm going to see you'll see at the end of the video with the two cards side by side it's actually the same card design but this time I've stamped it in the obsidian black ink on the watercolour paper set and I'm using my watercolour brush markers to add my colour. I did try and keep the colours similar but these brush markers if you have them they are so bold and bright that I couldn't get them exactly the same. No, I couldn't get that exact muted look that I got with the blush and the rose ink but I actually didn't mind because you know me I love my bright colors so <laughs> I just went with it. I've got one of the round brushes here that I'm adding some water and diluting the color out a little. I have been storing these brushes on the side and I've just changed my tactic and now I'm actually storing them upright because I did find um, a couple of my brushes were a little bit leaky 
but I just kept a paper towel off to the side and didn't have any major dramas except a little smudge on my paper and to add to make it a little bit more muted I did come in with the evening grey and I cut it out with the coordinating die and because I had it stamped on the edge of that panel it meant that it automatically cut out my leaves to fit my front panel that I'm creating here so this is some pale grey cardstock and I'm running it through my Big Shot and only one base plate because these embossing folders are so thick it didn't doesn't actually need a second plate to run it through the machine and this is the organic linen 3D embossing folder really beautiful and gives a subtle look of a texture on the background and like I said I'd already cut off the edges of my rows so I just popped that up and sat that on the front I kept my sentiment in the same position as the first card as well and this is from the simple greetings die set and it's the word hugs and I did stack that up three or four times and use the glue pen to do that but I actually did adhere it with my matte medium because it's on that organic linen textured background so I hope you got some inspiration to use the same design layout on a card and try it two different ways. Till next time. Bye.